Hello, everyone. As mentioned, we at Resco looked at what's best at, that we have. What are the best tools that we have? At the same time, we did this market analysis of no-code, low-code platforms. And what we found out is that we have three solutions that can bring big value to the users, that can create this great synergy between Power Platform and Resco. These solutions provide users with advanced data collection capabilities, possibility to automatically generate documents, and ability to share knowledge across the organization. And these solutions are Resco Forms Plus, Resco Docs Plus, and Resco Steps Plus. And really, we are using our existing tools that we already have, that are well-known, well-tested, developed for many years, such as Questionnaire Designer, Questionnaire Player, Reports Designer, Results Viewer, Guides. And what we did is we took these tools that we have and we embedded them directly into model-driven Power Apps, Power Pages, and Power Automate. Thanks to this, giving this additional value to Power Platform users. Let's start with the first one, Forms Plus. This is our existing tool that may, you, have, you may know as questionnaires. And what we did is we took this tool and we embedded it directly into the Power Platform, as I mentioned. And Forms Plus are used for data collection scenarios where you have this easy guided way to collect data in a field and right now even in the back office. And additionally to this, we have even rules engine that provides you with capability to create different kinds of logic, automations, and all this is bundled together with designer tool where business users and technical users can create all these questionnaires, forms in easy point and click way. And let's get to the demo to see how it really works. Let's meet Kate. She's administration manager at a company that's responsible for maintenance of elevators. Kate's job is to organize, structureize, update all the documents that this company has. And this work is really hard because whenever there is an update in the document, she needs to send this document to all the inspectors and still, Many do not use the updated documents, but the old ones. And many times when the inspectors fill in these documents, they should return them back to Kate, but again, they do not do this. So obviously, as we can see, she's frustrated. And what this company decided to do is that they wanted to digitize this process, take, take all these uh, documents to digital space to the Power Platform. It took a few months, it was a really good project, they were ready to release it, and then new legislation was approved. Suddenly, all these digital documents in Power Platform, the forms in Power Platform, were obsolete. These were not some big changes that had to be made, just bits here and there, but what Kate realized is that if she is going to do the changes of the documents, she needs to write down all the specifications what needs to be changed, go to the partner and have partner change it because she's not able to do this in Power Platform. So again, we're where we started. She's frustrated. Because this is not agile, this is not flexible. And partner came with this second option, what they can do, and it's Forms Plus. And let's look how it works. This is model-driven app that we have right now. We're going to design the forms, so we open the forms. Here we have all the questionnaires, the forms available. We pick one of them, elevator inspections. In the middle is the document, and all around it, we have all the options that the users have. And if we want to add some question, we can pick from many different types of questions that we have available, and it's really simple, just point, Click, drag and drop, change text, delete. Business users can do this easily. And if you want to do even something more advanced for business user, they can add scoring to each answer if they want. They just enable it and add scores to the answers. And this is for Kate really good because when she wants to change the questionnaire, she goes to the designer, changes it, publishes it, 
and suddenly all the inspectors have the newest version of the document. No usage of the old ones. And if they want something more advanced, they can always go to the partner and ask, let's say they need to use the data mapping. Partner can set it up, and data mapping is a functionality where if you change something in questionnaire, it is changed even in the database. You enable it, and partner who knows how to do it can set it up. And as I mentioned, we have even this rules engine. It's, again, point and click, you create these rules. And there you can create different types of automations, like automatically pre-filled questions, change visibility of some questions. It depends on what you want to do with this. And when we are going to collect the data, we leave the questionnaire designer. And in this app, we go to templates. And we can do this even on the phone, so we'll see it at the same time. We open the template we just created, it's elevator inspection. And user can just, again, click through it, take a photo if there is a question where they need to take a photo, save it. And after it is saved, back office user can take the questionnaire and finalize it, maybe fix some uh, mistakes that were made or add some information that only the back office user has. And these data are saved in Dataverse, so if you want to use them in Power BI or in any other way, you can do that. So it's really great for the business users because they can do quick, easy changes in the questionnaires, and even for the partners, because if client wants something more, they can use this tool to deliver something more. So this was the first problem that Kate has solved. Second problem was with document generation. They used this old way of generating documents. They had Microsoft Word, and documents, by documents we mean inspection documents, uh, some contracts, invoices, it depends on what you want to do. And they use Microsoft Word. They go to the database or some app, copy the data, put them in the Word template, send it to the client. Old way of doing it, really time consuming, prone to mistakes, really big problems with alignment of the documents. So even with this problem, the consultants came with the option to use Docs Plus. And here we will look how, how we can create the document. Again, we have a place where are all the documents available. We have one, we will open it. In the middle, there is the document we want to create. All around it, we have options what we can do with this document. And if we want to add something, we just drag and drop data where we want this data to be shown. We add some rows, we add some columns, change places. We call this pixel perfect design because you can really place the data at the place where you want them to be shown in the document. So no problem as in Word with alignment that everything is jumping everywhere. And again, if we want to do something more advanced, Again, partner can be invited, use the similar rules engine as in questionnaires, or add some unrelated related tables to this. So again, users, business user can more easily work with it, etc. And if we want to generate a document, we use for this Power Automate workflows. And it's really this workflow that can generate document. In the middle, we have the report, RISCO reports connector that's generating the document. And what you do with it after, it depends on how you set up the workflow. You can send it via email, you can save it on a SharePoint, it depends on you. And to see it in practice, we go back into the app, we go to accounts. So these are our existing clients. We open one of the clients, and here at the top, we have a button, accounts over with PDF. And this button, when I click on it, it starts the Power Automate workflow, and the generation of documents starts. It takes 20 to 30 seconds to generate the document, and when I refresh the screen, the document is placed here on the timeline, so I can open it. And as mentioned, this can be many different types of documents. It can be some uh, inspection report, some survey, depends on what you want to build. And even with, with this, Kate had this second problem solved, automatically generating documents without need to spend a lot of time with it and making mistakes. After this, after this, uh, Kate came with the third problem that she had. 
and it was sharing of knowledge in their company, sharing of knowledge between inspectors. And they used, again, as in many organizations, Microsoft Word, they used PDFs, SharePoint. Kate was responsible for updating these documents, so she really didn't know what was happening in the field. If something changed, she didn't know that, so the document was old. And many inspectors, they didn't even know where to find the documents, where to find the information documents, so no one used it. And the consultants again came with the solution, and it was Steps Plus. Steps Plus is used to create guides that can be used by these inspectors. Easy way to create guides, and at the same time, it's not only top-down communication of knowledge, where you have some knowledge manager who creates all the documents and that's it, but even bo it's even bottom-up, because the inspectors can give feedback to each guide and tell what's wrong, what's changed in the field, what's not really clear in the guide. Thanks to these new inspectors, can have better access to knowledge. They know where to find what's in the elevator, where to find uh, the engine room, how to open it, how to work with it. And the senior inspectors, when they suddenly are at the new place, again, they, can, they know what to where find. And when you go to the app, again, it's a similar app as the previous ones, and now we are going to design the guide. I go to Guides Editor. Here are the guides that I have available. I pick one of them. And similar as with previous apps, we have in the middle the guide, and all around it are the options that we can use to edit this guide. And we can change description, title. In the next steps, we can add some warnings, tips, put there some images, videos. It depends on what you want to put into the guide and how robust you want to have the guide. And if you want to add a new step, you just click, drag there some picture, type, and it, it's done. And after this goes the great part about feedback. And here you can see the feedback from the inspectors. So they could have said that something needs to be changed, so Kate can change this part of the guide. And how would this look like in the app? We open the phone, and in the app, we go to guides list, we open the guide, and right now we can scroll through it. And this guide doesn't need to be placed in the list like this. You can attach the guide to any asset, any uh, account. So it means if there is done elevate, inspection of elevator one, there is a guide attached to elevator one. So no need to search for the guide somewhere on a SharePoint. You have it next to the asset in the app. And these were the three solutions that we wanted to present now. Forms Plus for data collection, Docs Plus for document generation, and Steps Plus for knowledge sharing.